Hey guys, Top Hops here, and in today's video, we are going to be checking out both days three and four of Funko Fair. So let's get started! And if you guys are unaware of what Funko Fair is, this is where Funko takes all of their announcements for like the first half of the year and shows them off. And for right now, we're gonna be taking a look at Funko Fair Day 3, and then tomorrow, we're gonna be checking out Funko Fair Day 4, but it's all gonna be in one video just to make it easier for you guys. And so let's take a look at the first announcement, which is Tokyo Ghoul. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and I think you guys know what I'm gonna say, I don't know much about Tokyo Ghoul. I've never seen the anime before, but the figures look pretty cool. Like all four of these ones really do have great detail and I like that they're all holding their weapons and then there's also a second slide with two exclusives. And the exclusivity is something that I can actually talk about because I know where these are gonna be exclusive to. So the one on the left there is a specialty series figure and if you don't know, they go to more like mom and pop shops. So think of places like comic book stores or more like one-off shops. And then on the right we have a glow-in-the-dark figure exclusive to Sure Thing Toys and I'm pretty sure this is their first ever exclusive pop so hey, congratulations. And then after that we are getting into a lot of Marvel characters. And this one here is the Beyond Amazing set where they've actually announced one of these characters a while ago. That one was the Dr. Octopus, but today they're announcing Vulture. And this is actually the second of seven connecting pieces, and I really am excited to see what this is gonna look like when they're all finished. Especially because it looks like it is the Sinister Six all around Spider-Man. It's gonna look pretty sick. And next up here we have Loki, and this one is going to be an Entertainment Earth exclusive, and something that I do find really cool about this one is that they told us that only a little bit of it glows. So it's almost like a bonus to the figure because this is a brand new sculpt for I believe the entire thing like the head looks similar but I'm sure it's different somehow and I really do enjoy that they told us that only a little bit of this figure glows because if they just slapped the glow in the dark sticker on the front there I'm sure a lot of people would have been disappointed because some of you guys might remember a bunch of years ago Funko had announced a chase Frodo and the chase said it glowed in the dark but then when he got it in hand the only thing that glowed was the bottle in his hand and it was kind of underwhelming and now next up here we have something that I swear we got a bunch of years ago but they're announcing it as something new so I'm gonna say it's something new as well. These here are some more pop mugs, and it looks like we're going to be getting Iron Man, Hulk, Groot, as well as Rocket. And I'm pretty sure they come in two packs. So the top would be a two pack, as well as the bottom ones. And these are going to be exclusive to Walmart, in case anybody's wondering. And then the last Marvel announcement that we got for today is a bunch of Blacklight figures. And there's a bit of controversy with this one, because people aren't really enjoying the colors. Like, when you look at them here, they look interesting, but there's something off about them. And the one that I like to point out is the Scarlet Witch in the top right corner, because I was thinking she would have, like, like an orange helmet to kind of be like similar to red, if you guys know what I mean. Or maybe it could have even been pink like her face. And I think that these do look all right. They're just different from the rest of the Blacklight characters. Because for all of the other Blacklight figures, they picked colors that made sense. But then for these ones here, it looked like they just kind of like closed their eyes and went, huh, lime green, that works for Killmonger. And that wasn't the only thing they had either. They also had a bunch of lounge fly stuff, as well as this t-shirt bundle, which I do think looks really great. And if you were thinking of getting the Killmonger, then you don't have to get the 10 inch version. They also have it inside of this bundle. And also, every Blacklight thing that I just showed you is going to be exclusive to Target. Now, next up here, we have WWE, and I don't actually know many of their names, and I apologize. So we're going to kind of just, like, flip through these while I talk about them a little bit, because we do have one Chase version, which is pretty neat, because the entire thing is different. And then we also have these only at Walmart two packs, as well as three packs. And actually, now that I say that, I stand corrected, because I do know the bottom middle one there, that's Hulk Hogan. And then this one here, we have Roman Reigns with a t-shirt bundle. So I do know a couple of these, I just don't know everybody. And then on the right side there, we have an Amazon exclusive as well as a Walmart one, and I don't know either of them. And then on the next slide here, I actually think I know all three of these with Mick Foley at the top there. And then I believe at the bottom, it is John Cena and The Rock, it looks like it. And actually I'm surprising myself a little bit because I know the name of this guy too. This is Mankind. And I'm not just saying that because it's also on the lunchbox. And then this last page that we've got here is a bunch more characters as well as a Loungefly WrestleMania a bag, kind of cool. And now we're getting into some of the Funko Gold, and you guys can see here, this is all NBA ones, and every single one of these figures has a chase. And it looks like the common versions are the home jerseys, and then the chase ones are the away ones, which is pretty interesting. And they didn't just announce five inch ones, they also announced one foot ones, and we've got Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, as well as Zion Williamson. And I don't know if you guys know this, but my brother Noah is a huge fan of Zion, as well as the Pelicans in general, so if I see that one in stores, I might have to pick it up. And then after that, we've got more basketball, and these ones here are brand new. This is the Pop magazine cover. And we've got three different ones here. We've got Allen Iverson, Vince Carter, as well as Shaquille O'Neal. 
And I really do enjoy these ones because it seems like they actually got the license to Slam Magazine to do this instead of like putting some fake cover in the background or like some popified version of it. And then after those basketball cases, we have more basketball cases, but these ones here are a little bit different because this is in collaboration with Panini, which actually makes collectible cards. And this is part of their Prism set. And I believe Prism is just the fact that it's kind of like metallic and shiny on the cards. And they really do look nice, especially with the actual photos in the background. And for these ones here, we've got a bunch of different ones. We've got Luka Doncic, we also have LeBron James, LaMelo Ball, we've got Giannis, I'm not even gonna try his last name, as well as Zion Williamson again, and Stephen Curry. And the reason I said Zion again is because if I see it in stores, I'll probably pick it up for my brother. And then the last thing that Funko announced for today was some more MLB figures, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, they look really good, it's just none of them are my local team, which is the Blue Jays, so I'm probably not gonna pick them up. And I am a little bit bummed that they only announced five teams here, but at least they are still making MLB figures, and we'll probably get more in the future. And now everybody, it is the next day, and yes, I've got a big bag of stuff from GameStop. That's because I went earlier today and picked up a bunch of pre-orders. And I did also look at the back wall, and they had some okay stuff, but the main thing that I picked up was my pre-orders. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I only picked up pre-orders, but I figured I might as well film the back wall in case you guys wanted to see it. And since it's only about an hour and a half till they're done with Funko reveals, I figured we might as well open up the pops first, and then we can do all the reveals at once. And I guess let's start with what's on top here. The only pop that I didn't pick up, but it's still Funko, um, it is Schmoops the puppy, which is a Paka Paka figure. And now if you guys don't know what Paka Paka is, they normally come in those mystery balls, but for this one here, as well as a couple other lines, they made bigger figures about the same size as a Funko Pop, so I figured I might as well pick up one of them just to see what they're like. And let me grab the next figure that we've got here, which is the previous exclusive Donatello, just to compare the box sizes here. And this is also another one that I picked up today. It was one of my pre-orders. And if you guys want to see it, it's kind of interesting because they are the exact same size as a Pop, but there's one big difference with these things. A Funko Pop over at GameStop retails for $19.99 or $17.99 if you have an edge card. And then one of these Paka Pakas, which is pretty much the exact same size in the exact same box, retails for you guys ready for this? $9.99 or $8.99 if you have an edge card. So I don't really know what's going on here. Why are Funko Pops double the price when they are literally the exact same character with brand new sculpts too? It's just a bit confusing to me. But I digress. And talking about Donatello a little bit more, there is something kind of interesting about these characters that I didn't know until Funko actually released these ones. And it's the fact that all of the turtles had the exact exact same colored mask, the only thing that was different about them was the weapons that they held. And I think it's really interesting that they're like that because how hard was it to differentiate them in the comic books? Like, were they always holding their weapons all the time? It must have been weird. And for anybody wondering, I did pre-order the entire set because I wanted to try to get some chases for this one because every single one of the turtles has a chase where they're black and white, and I believe they also have the colored mask, or maybe the entire thing's black and white. I don't exactly remember. They just haven't arrived yet, and this is the only one that I was able to pick up today, and it's still a really good one. It's just too bad this one wasn't the chase. And I guess it's good to have some commons and some chases to compare the two, but I really do want to make sure that I get a chase because even the chase sticker is different because they made it black and white. And now I guess let's get on to these two next. We've got some more of these Simpsons ones. Actually, all of the Simpsons ones to finish off my new set. So we got Barticula as well as, I can never pronounce this one, Marjora? Majora? Something like that. It's just Bart and Marge, and I actually didn't know this, but this is one of the newer episodes, and I haven't seen it yet. Now that I've completed the set, I'm probably gonna wanna watch this. No, I'm definitely gonna watch it. And I don't really know why Funko went all out for this specific episode. Maybe it was a special that I completely missed. It could be something like that. And at first, I didn't really know how I felt about these figures, but now seeing them all together, and I can take them out of the box and have the five of them next to each other, they look pretty decent. And that might have to do with the specific episode. I just, like I said, haven't seen it yet. And so next up here, we've got two more figures that go together. We have Cape Pride as well as the comic book Daredevil. And actually, now that I say that, both of these are the comic book versions. And I wanted to take a look at Kate Pride first because there is something that I'm a little bit confused about, and it's the fact that her name is Kate. Isn't it Kitty? And they might be two completely different characters, or maybe their sister, something like that. But I swear there was one named Kitty Pride, and then she looked kind of similar, but also different at the same time. And I might be thinking of a completely different character, but I definitely know that there is somebody with the last name Pride, and I'm pretty sure it's Kitty. So why would they have a Kate and a Kitty? It's kind of confusing. And if you guys want to check out the back of the box, there's actually a lot of characters here because they they have the old as well as new set of the X-Men, and I like how they did that. And then, of course, the other one that we've got here is the one that only patrols about 20 streets in New York. This one here is Daredevil. 
And I'm pretty sure that this Daredevil here, if I were to have gone to a comic book store and picked it up, I could have got the variant cover to go along with it, but because it was GameStop, they don't carry those, and maybe one of these days I'll have to go over to like my comic book store to actually get the comic to go along with them, because every time I get one of these ones that has a comic book variant, I never get the comic. And I've actually tried a couple times, and every time I've gone, they've said they've been on back order, so I haven't been able to get one yet, and maybe I'll be able to find one with Daredevil because he did just recently release. And I'm not exactly sure if I have to buy the Funko Pop there with the comic book, and if I do, I probably probably will anyways because it's a pretty sick pop and then we can give one away to you guys. And now this next figure that I'm about to show you guys, I pre-ordered maybe like two or three weeks ago. And when they told me this was one of the pre-orders, I had to order it because I did not think it was going to come in. And I didn't exactly know which version it was. And it turned out to be a really, really crazy one because this here is the New York Comic Con exclusive Polly Pigeon. Like why did some GameStop in Canada get this figure in? I'm not exactly sure. And I think the craziest part about this figure is it isn't the normal one. This is actually the 1500 piece one in the New York Jets colors. Why did they get this? And I mean, here's the thing, guys. I am not complaining because the one that I actually had in these colors was pretty damaged on the insert. So I'm glad that I was able to get another one for only $17.99. Not bad. And just to prove to you guys that I did pick this up over at GameStop, and I'm not lying, you guys can see on the bottom there, it actually says Pop New York Comic Con's Polly Pigeon, and that right there is the GameStop sticker. And now the last two figures that I picked up are actually in the same set, and I guess we'll start with this one here, which is Cobb Van. And now I do realize that there is a Chase version to go along with this one, and I didn't get it with my pre-order, so I figured I might as well pick it up anyways because I didn't have the common one. And now at first I wasn't going to pick up this figure, but then when I saw him in the Book of Boba Fett, I was like, you know what, let's grab him. And another reason that I wanted to pick up this one was because of how battle damaged his armor is. Like, it really does look nice, especially the dents on top of his helmet. And then the last one that we've got here is actually one that I've been talking about for a little while. This here is Boba Fett and Fennec on Throne. And I thought it was kind of interesting because when I first saw this one, I thought it was going to be part of the Book of Boba Fett. And then I noticed that it's actually from The Mandalorian. And I guess that makes sense because it was the post credit scene at the end of Season 2. And I don't know if this is a spoiler, but now with the Book of Boba Fett out, I'm sure most of you guys know this by now. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, that was a bad bend. Ugh. And I mean, guys, this thing looks sick. And it kind of looks like meatballs off to the side there. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but we'll say meatballs. And they even have like a bit of a different color to them where like they're a little bit more glossy. And I really do enjoy that they changed what paints they use for certain things to make them look like the real thing, or at least closer to the real thing. And the patina that I was talking about was the Rancor heads on the chair, as well as the chain on the ground. And if you guys don't know what patina is, think of like in Minecraft, how copper oxidizes some Somewhere in the middle there, that would technically be Patina. And something else that I really enjoy is that they added Fennec to this figure because they totally could have just done Boba Fett, but the two of them together really do look great. All right, everyone, so I got the laptop, and let's do a bit of a time check here because I think we're close to the final reveal. We've got 18 minutes till they're done for the day. So let's just go through all of the figures that they've already shown off today because I'm sure it'll be time by then. And it looks like we're going to be starting off with a set that I don't know much about. And this here is Black Clover. And I guess I do know one song from the show. You know, the one that goes, Black Clover. Over. That's all I got though. And these ones from what we can see so far actually look really, really great. Like I love how they've got the books floating in front of them. It's pretty sick. And they seem to have done some really interesting trick on how to make them float. And it kind of looks like there's something coming from the back side of them. Because if you notice in the character in the top right, there's something coming from like the back of his leg. It's probably like that. And Funko really did go all out with the AAA anime exclusive. Because if you notice here, I think the heads are exactly the same, but the bodies are completely different. And the chase also glows in the dark, so if you like Black Clover, you're probably going to want that one. And now this next line I can actually talk about, because these ones here are the Marvel Mech Strike Monster Hunters. And a little while ago, Funko did the Marvel Mech Strike figures, and I did pick up a couple of those. And now these ones here are way cooler, in my opinion. Because as you guys can see with this first page here, it looks like we have Doctor Doom, Wolverine, Black Panther, and Green Goblin. And I mean, look at how much detail they have. They're really sick. And then on the next page here, we've got, it looks like maybe Loki in the top left corner there, I think. Then we've got Thanos as well as Venom, I think. I mean, it's got the tongue. And then there's also the keychains in the bottom right corner. And it says keychain concept subject to license or approval. And I don't really know why, because they look exactly the same as the normal size pops. So they're probably going to look pretty similar. And then after that, we've got the Jumbo Venom as well as the Glow in the Dark Green Goblin and the Glow in the Dark Spider-Man one. And it looks like all of these are going to be exclusive to Walmart. And now we have another one of those brand new cases figures. And this one here is the Pop VHS covers. Are they going a little bit overboard with it? Yes. Am I mad about it? Absolutely not. Because I think the only thing that's different here 
is what they're calling them. Like, they really are just like the movie covers or the posters. They're just all in different categories. And this one here is in the pop VHS covers, which is a little bit weird. I don't know why they didn't just do the poster, but I do still really enjoy this one. And this here is Simba on Pride Rock. And if I see this one, well, actually, it's an Amazon exclusive. If it goes up, I might get it. And I'm noticing it's up for pre-order right now. I'll probably order it. And now next up here, we have another Disney announcement. And this one is probably my favorite Disney one that they've shown off the entire Funko Fair because this one here is Cheshire Cat standing on his head. And this one here is a Pop in a Box exclusive and you can see that it also has a chase to go along with it where his eye glows in the dark and then the entire character is flocked. And this is one of those figures that I kind of want to do a chase roulette for so if you guys would like to see that please let me know in the comment section below. And now here we've got another case and this one is actually in the Pop Games category. I know it's another category for it but I like how many they're making. I'm just hoping that they don't go too overboard with these because people seem to really be liking them at the moment and I don't want them to go too far with it where they just start making them for every single character. But I think with what they've done so far, they are still some really great ones. And this one here is actually the Crash Bandicoot one, which looks pretty nice. And something else that I just thought about now, which is pretty cool about these, is that the case is a lot bigger than a normal size pop, so they can make the figures as big as they want them to be. And I'm just noticing now that this is number six for the pop game. So if you guys have any other ideas of what the games could be for numbers one to five, please let me know. And then the next announcement that they had was another Pop Games one. And this year is actually three brand new Pokemon. And the three that they announced are some of my favorites because we are getting Leafeon, Piplup, as well as Lapras. And it's not just one Lapras. We're also getting a 10 inch one exclusive to Target. And now we're getting into the Star Wars reveals for today. And there was two major ones. One of them being these art series Darth Vaders, which look really great in the glam shots, but I'm a little bit worried about them when they actually release. Because as a lot of you guys know, for the art series, figures, they kind of don't look the greatest because the prints get a little bit stretched and I'm hoping that doesn't happen here because they really do look nice. And these, if you guys don't know, are different times that you see Darth Vader throughout the film. So the right side is Endor, the top one is Hoth, I think the bottom one there might be when he's Anakin, it kind of looks like it and then he falls into the lava. And then the one on the far left is when they turn Han Solo into Carbonite, it's pretty cool. And now that wasn't it for the Star Wars reveals, we also had one other thing, it was another connecting piece for the Duel of the Fate set. And I hadn't purchased the Darth Maul, but now that I'm seeing the second piece of the set, I kind of want to get it before they sell out. And I really do enjoy how it looks like Obi-Wan is about to slash Darth Maul's lightsaber, even though they are completely separate pieces. And I'm really curious as to what Qui-Gon's going to be doing, because he's behind Darth Maul. Maybe he's like just about to swing his lightsaber at him? Probably something like that. And then after Star Wars, we got two more Funko Golds, and both of these ones here are going to be Jimi Hendrix. We are getting a 5-inch one, as well as a 12-inch one. And I think it's really funny that it says figures not to scale, because I don't think, no, that's a little bit smaller than 12 inches. And these aren't the exact same sculpt, even though they do look kind of similar, because you can see he's wearing completely different outfits, and the shorter one has the tassels, where the bigger one kind of has just like a droopy kind of sleeve. They're pretty neat. And now, guys, you know what? We actually have about two minutes till the last release, so I guess we'll wait a minute. And it's... not no, not yet. Hold on. It's six o'clock, there we go. And it looks like the last reveal for Funko Fair is going to be Fairy Tale. Now, again, I don't know much about these ones, but something that I am noticing is the character in the bottom right has one of those bases, very similar to Celia, as well as Courage the Cowardly Dog. And again, you guys know this, I love when they use those because they're not sacrificing what the actual character looks like, and they add that base on the back, which really isn't that obtrusive, and it makes the figure look a lot nicer in my opinion. And it looks like there's actually two slides to this one, so there's probably going to be some exclusives. No, there's just one, and I actually don't know who this is. Maybe Noah's watch Fairy Tale. Let me get him. Noah? Yeah? Do you know anything about Fairy Tale? The show? Yeah. No. Okay, we know nothing about these characters. And I apologize, guys. But anyways, that is everything for Funko Fair as well as today's video. And please, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite release of the four days? Because I think for me, my favorite releases had to be either the Pokemon or Cheshire Cat. And I know that those were only from today, but they were my favorites. Oh, and you know what, guys? I also did really enjoy all of the sodas because you guys know I'm a sucker for sodas. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. Watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a full with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. Be funny with it.
five, four, thump, I'm a hump on a bounce, Jack and Jill up a hill, baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb, I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin, man, I surely like the muffin top. Snow, hey, let my lashes. 